Now I've got a question for you. How do you fancy living in a building like this? Well, did you know the old Royal Naval College in Greenwich used to be a hospital? But this was no ordinary hospital. It was a home and it had the most magnificent painted ceiling, beautiful chapel and a whole room dedicated to plain skittles. But why was it so glorious? And who lived here? Well, today I'm off to find out. Hi Lauren, um, I'm actually just investigating some documents about the lives of the pensioners who used to live here back when this place was a hospital for retired seamen. Ah, oh, so that's what this place was for. Yes, yes. Well, we call it a hospital, but it was a bit more like a retirement home for men, elderly men or those who were injured who could no longer serve in the Navy. Well, it's an impressive place to retire to. Well, yes. You see, it wasn't just about providing charity. It also made a statement about Britain's naval strength, encouraging young men to enlist in the Navy as well. Enlist with us and we'll look after you in retirement. Exactly. But I'm having a bit of difficulty. You see, I'm supposed to be doing a talk tomorrow on some of the nurses who also lived here. But the problem is, is that in all the paintings, etchings or cartoons that I find of Greenwich pensioners, there is not a single image of a nurse. Wow, it sounds almost as if they've been hidden from history. It would be great to talk to one of the Georgian or Victorian nurses here. Oh yes, oh, if only we could, I bet they'd have some amazing stories to tell. Hmm. Leave it with me and I'll see what I can do. Um. Uh, okay. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Right everyone, it's time to take a trip back in time to the Victorians when this place was a royal hospital. If you've got a pocket watch at home, why not play along with me? So, close your eyes, hold on tight, and think of the Victorians. <laughs> yes, that worked nicely. Now, according to my pocket watch, the year is 1864. Oh, the year the very last nurse started at the hospital. Right then, let's go see who I can find. This room is amazing. Imagine living here. <gasps> Quick, over here. Oh, um, who are you and why are you hiding down there? Oh, I uh, dropped something. Um, <laughs> found it. <laughs> oh, you must be an applicant nurse. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Funny, funny clothes. No bother. My name is Harriet Henry, and I'm fairly new here myself. Well, follow me and I'll show you around. Great. Only widows whose husbands had died in the Navy could be nurses here. Most women's incomes were not enough to support a family, so the Royal Hospital gave them work and a place to live. They didn't need medical training, as their role was more general, ensuring the upkeep and running of the place. So this room was originally intended to be the dining room. Dining room? I wish my dining room looked like this. <laughs> well, yes, it is one of the most spectacular Baroque displays of all of Europe. It was painted by Sir James Thornhill in 1707, and it took him 19 years to complete. But why go to so much effort to decorate a dining room? Well, it's a statement to the rest of the world. It's designed to impress visitors, but also to try and make our country look successful and powerful. If they went to this much effort to decorate the room, then I bet the food here must be amazing. Sadly, Harriet explains that although food was plentiful, it was pretty basic, and they served the same menu every week. So, not as fancy as the paintings then. Hello! What are you doing? Oh, this looks like the perfect room for an echo. Sorry. 
couldn't resist. You can't do that in here. You'll have one of the matrons after you. And me for that matter. Matrons? Well, we nurses are managed by three matrons. And uh, while most of us live fairly well behaved and quiet lives, there are all those who are known to have caused trouble. Trouble? <laughs> yes. Well, sometimes there's arguments here between the women. And the pensioners too, but you can imagine the challenge of trying to keep order here with hundreds of retired sailors and young women living so close to so many alehouses. An alehouse is another word for a pub or a bar. So what happens if there's trouble? Well, maintaining order here is of high priority. And so any trouble is punished. For example, uh, the nurses and pensioners have to stay in the hospital and they're not allowed out. Or they're made to do menial jobs. Or sometimes they get a fine. And sometimes they're only given bread and water at mealtimes. Occasionally, the nurses have to wear the yellow bonnets and the pensioners the yellow sleeves. Or sometimes we have to wear our uniforms inside out. Wow, <laughs> sounds humiliating. I've heard rumour of the stocks. Is that right? <laughs> Yes, well, there is a great story from around 1711. There were these four nurses who were punished for bringing very strong liquor into the hospital. And they were sentenced to sit from the hours of 12 till 1 with their feet in the stocks. And they had a whole month's pay deducted. But of course, the worst punishment of all is expulsion from the hospital, and that does happen. Wow, I'll be on my best behaviour then. So, this is the chapel, and as I'm sure you've gathered by now, life here at the hospital does follow a very strict routine. The day starts at 7am, and each pensioner is expected to clean their wards first before attending chapel here. And they get a shilling a week. Oh, sounds a bit like pocket money. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I suppose you're right. And they can earn extra money by working as a porter, working in the kitchen, or doing other maintenance work, that sort of thing. In many ways, this strict routine makes it sound a lot like school. Yes, I suppose you're right. And we have to wear a uniform as well. But some of the pensioners here are used to living by a strict set of rules, having been in the Navy. But what happens if one day they decide the strict life isn't for them anymore? Can they just leave? Well, actually, if a pensioner prefers, they can apply for a financial allowance to live in the local community. But don't panic if I'm putting you off because we do have a great sense of community here and we get up to lots of fun together. Oh, follow me. So this is Skittle Alley, an entire room dedicated to playing Skittles. Yes, and brand new to us in this year. Though, so, to be honest, I wish we had one sooner. Lister's idleness over the years has caused the pensioners to drink a lot and frequent local alehouses for a game of Skittles. <laughs> oh, can we have a game, please? Um, well, I am technically on duty and meant to be working. But I think the matron is currently on her break, so I suppose one game can't hurt. Yes. Now the final pensioner would leave this hospital in 1869, four years from now, meaning that Skittle Alley would be enjoyed mostly not by the pensioners, but by sailors when the hospital turned into a naval college. Matrons now. Perfect timing as my tour has come to an end. Now stay here and I will go fetch you an application form. <laughs> right, that's my cue to head back to Maddie in our time. I've got so many stories to share. But first, let's see if we can get a quick picture. Wait, Harriet, yeah? can I ask you a small favour? Um, could I, uh, could I take a picture of you? Excuse me? Just look into this lens here. <laughs> That's strange. Stay here. I shan't be a moment. Wait. Now, pocket watch is at the ready. This time, we're going forward in time to the 21st century. So, close your eyes, hold on tight, and think of home. I've got you a form. Oh. Oh. Where did she go? 
well. I'm sure there'll be more applicant nurses. Oh, hi, Lauren. Any luck? Harriet Henry, 1864. Harriet Henry? She, she was one of the last nurses to ever join the hospital before it closed down in 1869. This is, this is amazing. How did you get this? Oh, just a bit of time exploring. Anyway, I have so many great stories to share with you. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. always do remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.